smash and plane against Mississippi State and be able to compete this weekend. Nice play by the shortstop Harrison, but her throw was wide of the mark and Cox. And that's why Brandon Lee, the official scorekeeper, gave her an infield single. And there's Kylan Becker in of SEC play. And nearly 3,000 show up. And there, Lampton reaches base. And that's how. Kylan Lee just drops a changeup right into the zone and kind of freezes. But even though, you know, Lee came in. One for two, had a bunt single in the first, and there she slaps a single. Ward did a nice job getting out of the way. And Becker is now two for. With that diving catch, the game winner to beat Alabama. And this time, Schneider will tap. Once a cat, always a cat. And there so is. That's kind of what you can see from, from both of them. Trying to move her in scoring position with her four and five hitters coming up. Put a little bit of pressure on the Ole Miss defense. Stancil to her left. Takes care of Adams. And Lee. <laughs> Rebel teammate screaming for McKinney. And she delivers a base hit to center field. And that's going to score Castro. The throw to second is not in time, and McKinney comes through in the clutch. Paige McKinney, the Mississippi native, coming through for her team to put up the, to put the Rebels up by another run, and she just drives this ball to the outfield. Hit really hard. Bree Castro is off on the pitch with, with it being two outs, and Paige McKinney being so heads up on that play, going hard. It's the bid against Texas A&M. Yeah, absolutely. And I mean, um, it's, a, it's also a testament to Texas A&M's uh, Slaps it to Stansel, and Caitlin Lee with a four-hit shutout. She threw a one-hit shutout in her college day of ESPN Networks. Log on to watchespn.com or download the Watch ESPN app.